Hi, hi, this is Adrian from Videolane.com doing another Q&A session. Okay, answering a question somebody has asked me about how to export a selected area in VideoPad to a separate video file. Okay, this is part of a VideoPad tips and tricks series. First of all, let me remove my title. Yep. So, as you can see on the screen right now, I have a video pad project. And uh, let's pretend it's, it's actually a sample. Just pretend it's completed. And I start my project with uh, a little black sheep running and followed by two sheep grazing and then the two sheep walk away followed by a group of sheep and the video ends off with a group of sheep okay so normally after you finish editing your project you would go to the X button to export your entire timeline as a single video but now what if what if you want to export a separate video file only for a small section all right maybe there's something important here or something useful in a small section instead of uh, saving the project and opening it up again delete certain sections just to have that section there is another way to do it without deleting an, anything or creating a duplicate. Okay, now let's pretend. I want a small section from this sequence. Maybe just these two sheep grazing right before they walk away, right? I just want this small portion. Okay, without duplicating the project, without saving it, without destroying it, all I have to do is follow these steps. What are these steps? Let me show you. All right, oh, by the way, yep, I have a complete full course downloadable at this URL, videolane.com slash courses slash video pad. Feel free to go there and take a look. Now, Yep, exporting a selected area. Here's how to export a small part of the entire video in the timeline to a separate video file. Okay, I have seven steps here. Okay, you can freeze frame or take a snapshot of this, but for now, I will carry on to do a demo. And back to our video pad. Okay, step one. Go to the Sequences tab in the bin panel. Okay, the Sequences tab is on the top left corner where you will see your video files thumbnail, your audio file thumbnail, images thumbnail. Okay, right now I have no audio and no images. Okay, and there's one seldom used tab called the sequences tab okay click on it and go right into it okay a point of warning i am not referring to this sequence tab up here not this one not this one right it's the one in the bin panel okay click on it and you will see one thumbnail it's a sequence the name is sequence one okay what's this this Sequence thumbnail represents the whole of your timeline. Everything that you have edited in your timeline from the beginning to the end. Okay, that, that's why they call it the sequence. The sequence of your clips. Now, next step. Click once on the timeline. Okay, I'm sorry. Click once on the sequence thumbnail. Okay, not double click, just click once on the sequence thumbnail. And then look at the preview monitor on the right hand side, okay, the TV section. 
Okay, ensure that the clip preview tab is on. Okay, let's call this the clip preview panel. Okay, again, a note of warning. We don't look at the sequence preview. We look at the clip preview tab. All right, so make sure that one is on. Now, inside this tab, you can see a series of film strip thumbnail from the beginning to the end. And uh, it's got its own playhead. If you look at it, there's a playhead here, right? Again, as we move this playhead in the clip preview panel, the main playhead in the timeline does not move. Okay, you know, as I click on the main playhead, it switches back to sequence preview. Now, let's go back to clip preview. Okay, for this, for this exercise, we have to only move the playhead in the clip preview panel. All right, remember, let's move it to the start point of our desired area. Okay, let's move it. Okay, there you go. I mentioned I want the two ships in the field, one of them grazing, right? Two ships standing in the field. Okay, somewhere about here, here. Okay, so this is the start point of my desired area which I want to export. Okay, the start point. So I leave my playhead here. And the next step is to look for the start button, which is below the preview film strip. Okay, right over here, if you can see my cursor moving around. This is a start button with a square bracket bracket. This is the start button with the square bracket facing right. Now click on this start button. Right, what do you see? You straight away you notice the beginning part of the film strip has been darkened or shaded out. And if you look at your timeline, the beginning part has been shaded out. All right, and the rest is still visible. Next step, in the clip preview panel, move the playhead to the end of the desired area which you want to export. Okay, the small section which you want to export. Now, early on I mentioned, I just want to export the part where the sheep, the two sheep, mother sheep and baby sheep, when they are standing in the field. I don't want them to start walking. So, Let's move them somewhere here. Okay, this is the one I want. The end of that little section that I want to export. Okay, so the next is to look for the end button over here below the clip preview panel. The end button with a blue bracket facing left. Okay, click on the end button. What do you see? Now the rest of the clip has been shaded out, leaving only that small section which we want to export. Okay, notice we haven't edited anything. We just selected this little area which we want to export as a separate video file. So now the final step. Okay, if you know this, if you know how to use this software, you will know how to export. Okay, I won't I won't go through the export procedure. Okay, if you want to know how to do the export procedure, go to the export section of this training. Okay, otherwise I'm sure you know how to do export if you've been using this software. And by the way, this tutorial is meant is meant for advanced users, not beginners, right? Advanced users. So now just let me go through the motion. If I export, okay, I select a name. Let me call it um, um, two ships. Okay, and then I would select my favorite. My favorite selection is uh, HD 1080p. Okay, that's it. And I'll click create. Okay, and then after creation, you'll get a small file, small video file just 
showing this. All right, so it's done. And once it's done, once it's done, the final part, you need to bring this to start and end bracket back to normal if you want to continue editing the rest of the video, right? Just bring it back to normal. The blue bracket at the end. Oops, just grab it properly. Yep, just bring it back to normal. And that's it. That's how you that's how you export a small section or a selected area into a separate video file in VideoPad. So if you want to know more about how to use VideoPad, I have a full course in this URL, videolane.com slash courses slash VideoPad. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you don't feel like putting your question in public, well, feel free to message me privately. You can see my message, my message, uh, I mean, you can contact me from one of these points, right? Okay, so once again, this is Adrian Lee from videolane.com signing out.